All right, guys, I have been asked before how I trim my beard the way I do it, looking like this. I've done a video on a V-shaped beard. People really liked it, but this is not a V-shaped beard. This is more of a closer fitting, medium, short to medium range beard with it squared, more or less squared, without the sharp angles on the bottom. And so today I'm going to run you through a little tutorial on how I do that. Uh, how I trim, how I maintain a short to, to medium length beard. I hope the lawnmower that I can hear outside is not coming through here and distracting you. But um, a short to medium length beard depends on who you are, whether you think this is short or medium. Guys with really long beards are not going to think that this is medium. They're going to consider this really short. But guys with shorter beards than this, you know, closer to the face, or you can actually see through the hair to the skin, are going to consider this like a medium sized beard. Okay, so it really depends on who you are. It's why I say how to trim or how to maintain a short to medium sized beard. Now, I only use a few guards. This is really, really easy. Um, I like to grow the goatee area out a little bit longer to give it a, a, uh, a more angular, angular look and, and to bring it down a little more like a V, but only square to the bottom. This is not hard to do. This is very, fairly simple. Um, it, it looks really clean when you do it right, and uh, I would say it's even good uh, in, in uh, a business setting to have a beard like this. Uh, some, some businesses don't like you to have the longer, scragglier beards, which I don't think any really long beard has to be, but if you want to go with a shorter, easier, maintained beard to maybe medium size, this would be it. So here's what I do. I use the wall clippers, as I've demonstrated in my videos before. And um, here's, here's what I do. Here's how you can do it. Now, now, let's start off with, let's say, for me, for this length, I use a number three guard. Number three. Let me get that. I don't know. It's hard to see, right? Number three guard. But it's also, it also says it's 10 millimeters, in case you're wondering. What I do is I take the number three guard, put it on here. You have the... Uh, higher or lower setting. I always go with the lowest setting. And I just rake this down the face of my beard. I do not go in and I do not go down into the neck. Okay, I don't go down an angle. All I do is do the face of the beard all the way around, just like this. Now one thing I failed to mention before I did that is you do want to comb your beard out. My beard was already washed this morning. I didn't put any balms or oils in it. And I think that's the best way to do it. Some barbers prefer that you do all that before you come in so they can see how your beard is most of the time. I prefer to have nothing in it, freshly washed, combed through it before I even run the clippers through it. But you probably already know that. You probably would do that anyway. But just for good measure, I've said it now. But as you can see how I did that, I only went down the face, I kept it flat. I went, only went down the face like this. I did not go into the, the sides of the neck like this. And I did not do this, all right? Because you want that to, you. for me, I want a longer look up here. I may, I don't know how far down I'm gonna grow this. I might have it down to here eventually. But it's gonna look sleek, it's gonna look nice, it's gonna look clean and crisp. And you don't have to go to a barber to do it. So I ran the number three down the front of it including my mustache. And then what I would do is if you have a longer beard and you want to go back to a shorter beard, like I've got right here, let's say your beard's down to here and you want to go back shorter and you want to get all this off the neck, what you do is use a number six guard. And the number six guard is also a 19 millimeter. All right, number six guard. And, I, and all you want to do is you want to run this up here like this without without taking off the ends here. You just want to go up here and out, here and out. But you don't want to take off, you don't want to go here and out like this. You just want to go here, out. 
just curve it. Just go on, go on, you know, make an arc. And you do it here on your neck, all out, just like that. All right. I don't have anything coming off because I did this like a week and a half ago. Um, so it's the reason you're not hearing any hair coming off. But you want to occasionally comb through your beard. Now, you, now you've done the face of it. And you've done the bottom of it. You want to do this part of it. All right. So if you're not comfortable just taking the bare trimmers like this and going in, you can start off with a guard that you think would be too large for it. Without running the trimmers, you start off with a large guard. Let's say I take the number six that I just had on here. Go into here. I think my number six might actually take off too much. Let's try number seven. I'll try number seven, which is a 22 millimeter. Might actually be too large. I think it took off a little bit. Okay. But not much of a difference because I, I, I do want to keep it growing longer, but with a sharper, crisper look up front on the face of the beard. So what I've done now is, is I've got this to where it's, it's closer to the face. You don't have a lot of hair sticking out all over the place. And when you do run your trimmers over it, when you do run your trimmers over your beard, you, you only want to go, you only want to rake it over the beard about three times in all directions because if you do if you keep going like that um you're going to be there all day and you're going to end up making mistakes um you're going to slip you're going to go in when you shouldn't be going in and uh so it just lends itself to all sorts of problems now what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim this part of it right here i'm going to take off um the you know you can see the body of your beard you can see where the natural line would be all over the place you can see where that be and what you want to do is you want to start taking out the outlying hairs. You want to take them out and just make it closer to the beard without taking off the length of the beard itself. Okay, have you seen how I did that? I always try to keep this flat, more or less, more or less flat as I'm running across the face of the beard, whether I'm going underneath or I'm staying on top. Run this flat. So you've done that, and you don't want to do that more than about three times also. Now one thing I will do is on the sides, on the sideburns, they tend to get puffy. You can do it that way, or you can take like a number three, one on the sides, I'm sweating here. And I took off, um, took off a fair amount there, and now it looks nice. Really easy to do, really quick. You could do this once a week, twice a month, once a month, and always keep your beard looking crisp. That's what you want. And in a day or so, or in you know, maybe a matter of six to eight hours, you might see some outlying hairs that pop out. You can take those off a little bit, but be very careful about doing follow-ups because follow-ups will drive you crazy. It's better just to trim your beard once a week, twice a, twice a month, whatever it is you do, just like I showed you here, and leave it alone. What you want to do after you get done trimming your beard is you want 
you want to take your brush and brush out, brush out any of the hairs that are floating around there that you just cut. All right, there you go. That's what it looks like. Now you can put in your beard oil. I do recommend using beard oil. You take it like this, you apply it, I'm using Artius Man Bay Rum Beard Oil. Put it in there. It smells nice, smells really good. Comb it out. All right. And I take my Bay Rum Beard Balm. In case you haven't seen it, that's what you're looking at. Bay Rum Beard Balm by Artemis Man. And just a little dab will do. And that will help map down anything that's left out there. But you almost don't need to keep this looking sharp. But the oil of the balm just makes your beard look so healthy and clean and smells so good. And uh, the women in your life will like it. And you want to please them with a beard. So that's a nice look to have. This is a nice look to have. It's nice, clean, and crisp. Um, you know, when I go back, just as, a, just as a little side note here, when I trim the bottom here, when I go in, I go straight in. I go straight to the back. Now, as far as the neckline goes, I've got videos on how to trim the cheek line and the neckline. Go look at those. Go look at those. Go to my archive. Go to my page, whatever you call it, and look at the beard videos on how to trim your cheek line here and your neckline. I go through all that. I'm not going to go through all of it right now. Go to those videos and check them out. And as far as the the beard oil and the balms that I showed you, they're made by Artius Man, as I've already said, and they're very good. If you haven't seen some of my other videos uh, talking about these, check them out. It's a two ounce bottle of uh, Bayron Beard Oil, Bayron Beard Balm, really good stuff. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. You can get free beard oil samples when you order online. Use promo code GREG20 when you go to artiusman.com. You get 20% off of everything. But um, you're going to like this beard. The only thing left to do is trimming the mustache. And that's not hard to do. And all you have to do is take the uh, trimmers like this. Follow the lip line. Follow the lip line, that's all you gotta do. Down to the corner of the mouth. And that's it. I mean, you, with, your, with your mustache, you might want to, you might want to see if there's any hair sticking way out. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And clip those off. That's really that easy. There's not much to it. Enjoy it. Try it out. This beard length is nice. It's a nice compromise between really short and a little bit longer. And uh, let me know what you think. Give it, a, give it a whirl and put your comments down below. If you haven't liked this video, please do that and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.